video, I just thought I would touch on something um, that I've had a couple of messages about and a few people have asked me. Um, so, Toys Buying Agent. Um, look, there are other websites out there that do pretty much the same thing, um, but I've had excellent um, experiences with these guys. Um, so, I've bought Flash, Batgirl, Gwen, Miles, Anakin. Um, so, yeah, I bought a fair few from these guys. Um, and I've never had an issue, and their postage for the most part has been quite quick. Um, so just very quickly, um, they do this thing like where most Hong Kong vendors do, where they list everything in HKD, but that's okay, because we'll get to that. Um, the main thing to take note of is this is the original price versus the price it's going for now. So things, even cable here, uh, tend to drop in price quite quickly. Uh, some items, are like this guy won't so much and then you can see that you can pre-order um, batches for stuff um, now uh, I'll say I'll tell you now I've never pre-ordered with these guys um, and I haven't put down a deposit for a pre-order or anything uh, ever so I don't know the items that I've gotten from them uh, have been stuff that's generally dropped in price um, or uh, has just come out um, so yeah, I don't plan on pre-ordering. I'm just going to uh, stick with the in-stock items. Uh, it's not that I don't trust them. It's just that the deposits are quite high, and I fear, and uh, it doesn't actually tell you uh, what batch you're pre-ordering for. So I would rather, for instance, uh, the Inquisitor sold out now, but rather than um, pay a deposit and then find out I'm not getting in until the second or third batch, I would just drive away wait and see the day one price and then make a decision from there. Um, it's just something to keep in mind of. Uh, now, as far as uh, they also go, they have this really minimal coupon thing going. Uh, as I said, the savings are very minimal, but 50 HKD on 199 uh, 100 on 2,000, and then 150 on 3,000. It is quite small, but it makes postage that little bit better, I suppose. Uh, that's what I look at it as. I look at it as a postage discount, uh, which is fine. Uh, you will see your cart over here. I've added cable just to make it ahead of time. Uh, I also already have an account, so I'm not going to go through the account creating process yada 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 but as you can see straight away it tells me what my subtotal is it tells me what my shipping is and then you can select your shipping here uh, now it does say 10 to 21 days vintage I've never had that um, Anakin came in about six days um, EMS uh, and um, most things take about a week um, if I think they just say this just to cover themselves um, versus uh, people's experiences with other companies, let's say EMS, and then they put it on a boat, so it takes months, uh, and they've charged you that premium. Um, so yeah, you can see I've already applied the 100 code as well, um, so my postage at the moment is 240, which is fine. <coughs> what this means for you uh, is you can just click on the PayPal checkout. Now keep in mind, um, I already have an account, so my details are already pre-set up. Uh, I'm not going to log in on this screen or show you how to do that on this screen. Um, but pretty much it's going to load and it's going to tell me the price in AUD. $457 uh, shipped today. Oh, um, that's fine. Uh, she's asking me to lock in again. But yeah, the price there was $457 Australian. Um, now... I've not had any reason to doubt these guys. I, like I said, I have used PayPal each time. Reason for that is, is this guy here, that PayPal pay in four, uh, which will break it down uh, for you to allow you to pay. Yeah, it's just going to ask me to sign in again. That's fine. Um, but yeah, that, the pay in four is really good, I find, with websites like this uh, because you can break, um, break the payments down. Um, however, PayPal obviously aren't the most reliable people when it comes to exchange rates. Uh, because if you go HKD to AUD, um, you're going to get 440. Um, so PayPal's difference is about $17 at the moment, um, which is crazy, um, a crazy difference. Um, as I said, would I use my bank card? Probably. I'd probably trust these guys enough not to use PayPal. Um, do I really want to? No, because I want this pay in for feature. Um, it's just something that's there and PayPal gives you that extra protection just in case something crazy happens um, and then the parcel goes missing for whatever reason um, but as I said with another company what people were finding was 
uh, they were getting their, they were paying the EMS, or they were paying the high postage, um, and then they were waiting ages uh, for their items to get shipped, or they were giving a, tra they were given a tracking number um, that was actually coming by sea or something, and so a lot of their items just never came in the length of time that was uh, forecasted. Um, but yeah, as I said, if you go to the regular checkout, it'll ask you to put in your address and make an account and all that. Um, oh, like I said, I've already done that, which is why it comes up that I'm shipping to Queensland um, already. Um, but yeah, it's just something that you can do if you're looking for figures that pop culture um, are saying aren't compliant or stuff like that. Uh, and I've seen that Sideshow themselves have now just started randomly cancelling things. Um, so yeah, it's a good place to get the special editions from. Otherwise, you've got Jefferson, Jeremy, all those guys in the group as well. Uh, but it's just another option. Anyway, guys, hopefully this was a helpful video. Thank you for watching.